Great. I'm back where I started. Oh, Bonsley, you hungry? Because you're about to eat this. <laughs> You'll have to do better than that. What was that? Tinned meat. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, how crass. I find meat utterly repulsive. Jerry, I need Springfield on a laptop. You're a veg too. <clears throat> Might as well be eating a baby in brine. You continue to perplex me. It's an unexploded bomb from the Blitz with a few skull fragments embedded. An almighty wallop should set this sucker off. Nah, it's gonna take more than a fastball to crack this sucker open. What are you, an idiot? That looks like the perfect place to deliver an almighty bang, but I need to make sure Barnsley's distracted first. Excuse me, I have to go. Somewhere there is a crime happening. How did an old battle-hardened chap like yourself get overpowered by a weak little turd in rainbow braces? Oh, it don't take much to push a guy into a closet if he don't have no legs. Besides, he told me he wanted to see me medals. Nobody ever asks me about me medals. Should have been your first clue he was up to something. Right. Okay, I've got a plan. Right, you bring that bomb with you and take the stairs. I'll take dumb waiter to the roof. When you shout the code word, I'll distract him from outside. Once he's looking out the window for me, you place the bomb somewhere in the machinery where it's likely to receive a god-awful huge wallop. Then we wheel like wildfire out of there and watch the fireworks from a good distance away. Be just like Khrushchev's beach house all over again. That's a pretty good plan, so all we need is a code word. I'll get him chatting and in mid-conversation I'll slip in a simple word like... B avocado. Avocado? Work fine at Khrushchev's speech house. No reason it won't work now. Avocado? Yep. Seriously? Yep. Let's do this. If we need to regroup, just knock twice on the distillery and I'll pop back down. It's been an honour serving with you. I'd like to say the same, but you're no corporal flack. <laughs> oh, Brill, that old coop actually came through. In this light, your nose looks rather like an avocado. In this light, your hair looks rather like a fecal starfish. All right, uh, avocado face. You're finished in this town. On the contrary, I've barely begun in this town. Uh, melon head. Your plan has more holes than a worm-eaten avocado, but still less than your shirt. You should see my underpants. I have. How do you think I got you into that hospital gown? You're dumber than a myopic Mexican heavy artillery engineer. What does that mean? Well, you see, being nearsighted, one might mistake a box of grenades for... Oh, forget it. Sometimes I wonder about you. What the hell is that bloody clockkeeper doing? Bloody hell. Avocado! Eh? Nothing. I'd better talk to him downstairs. Senile old farts forgotten the code word. One sec, I think I left me car running. Where is that deaf bloody goatard? Avocado? Bloody hell. Sir? What the hell? I must have said avocado 50 bleeding times. You said no such thing. I did. I wasn't even subtle about it. Oh, blast. Blimmin' ears still ringing like Bastille Day. I can only hear you when you stand right in front of me. Can you hear anything up there? 
I could hear him talking just fine. Must be your gravelly lower register voice. Terrorist sings like a blimmin' Vietnamese peasant girl, loud and clear. Right, we need a new plane. You pulling rank on me, young book? I don't think so. The plan stays. But you can't hear me. Yeah, but I can hear him. All you need to do is get him to casually slip the word avocado into conversation. Your plan is absurd and you know it. Hey, yeah, suck it up, buttercup. So what's the plan again? Get him to say avocado. I distract him. You place the bomb where it'll receive a good kick to the chops. Brilliant. Leroy Jenkins couldn't have come up with better. Dismissed. Remember the avocado. How could I possibly forget something so abysmally stupid? Let's play a game. When I say, ah, oh, you say, vocado. What are you on about? Ah, uh, please, Hector, you're not making any sense. Knock, knock. Who's there? Avo. Avo who? Avocado. Ha! Ball bags, that didn't work. Okay, wait. This time you start. I don't have time for your nonsensical games. Before I die, I'd like to make one last request. Oh, I suppose I owe you that much. What is it then? I'd just like to hear you say one thing before you plunge the town into chaos and dismemberment, and that's... Avocado. That's the one thing in the world you want me to say? Yes. Out of all the words in the entire world? Yes. You want me to say? Yes, bloody yes. Say it. Avocado? Oh. Thank God! Uh, what in the blue blazes is that? Uh, excuse me, your attention, please. Sorry, distracted there for a moment. You were saying something about an avocado? avocado. Uh, no, I wasn't. Yes, you certainly were. You kept yelling avocado over and over. Um, I... Avocado, 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 you kept saying. What do bloody avocados have anything to... Damn. Too much. A bit, yeah. <laughs> Hell will erupt through the streets of Clapper's Creek. Civil disobedience will be uncontainable. Let the rehabilitation of Claptopia begin. Noble, fine upstanding member of society, last officer of the tourism board, founder of the Clappers Reek Preservation Society, and all round arse barnacle. I don't mean to be rude, but am I allowed a phone call? Phone call? You'll be lucky if I let you keep your tongue. Oh, Hector, it's just a phone call. Hello? Yes, it's Barnsley. Release it now. Toodaloo. All done. You see, Hector, no harm. Attention, everybody. To lighten the mood after the recent destruction of the clock tower, I've just been given the nod to spring one last surprise on you, and here it is. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, Hector, I personally would have preferred to deliver my own brand of chaos in a single-serving sachet, but you forced my hand. What have you done? There's enough arsenal in there to gas the entire town five times over. <laughs> Imagine the amount of carnage a badge that size will cause. Yeah, one might even call it a badge of... It's like it's been planned all along. My God, is that kids on there? Make sure they take their shoes off. Um. I have a sinking feeling that things could get rather nasty, what with a terrorist in our midst. So, if you require a sound bite, I'll be holed up in my office with the door locked. Good day. But you've been sitting next to a murderer all morning. Yes, but look at him. If there were any way he could ever escape, do you think I would have brought him along? Why, trussed up like this, he looks almost cute. Anywho, Napu. Guess that leaves you, Lambert. I've got to deal with this bouncy badger of butchery, so I'm leaving this monster in your custody. This man is a danger to the community. Do not let him out of your sight. Sure thing, boss. Do not listen to anything this monster says. Got it. You're to tell him nothing personal, or he'll try to use it against you. Okey doke. I mean it. Don't even tell him what hand you want your ass with. Believe me, you do not want Barnsley Noble inside your head. I was fine before, now I'm crapping myself. Oh, terror has struck. As a result, Meeks is strangely absent. He shouldn't miss this. I bet it feels nice to see the Earth's sun once again, eh, chum? Mm. <laughs> Good strong ropes. What the hell? There's a kid on there with shoes! More traitor deals, he'll kill us all! Oh, great idea. A giant balloon filled with toxic gas. Let's climb aboard. That was sarcasm, by the way. Hey, the fat guy's back. <coughs> <laughs> enough. It's not enough until I say it's enough. There, that's enough. So, the wife turns to me last night and asks me if I smoke after sex. I said, I don't know, love, I've never looked. <laughs> Uh oh. What's the matter? Just cold, man. Cold. I'm cold. Cut that crap. I know a flaky Charlie fit when I see one. Whatever, man, I'll come clean. You got me, whatever. Just need one more fix, then I can go straight. The bugs are coming. Get them off of me. They're burrowing. Need a fix, need a fix, need a fix. Oh, need man, a fix. he's going sheen on me. Hey, pal, got any more of the white stuff? Out, out, man. Out, out, out. Oh, God, everything's gone planned. Gotta sort me out. Need a fix, man. Summer, summer took it. Summer stole it. Fix, 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 need. Kids don't do drugs. Hands off my 
my buns. I wasn't going to eat it. I just wanted the toy inside. Well, that makes me feel better about my cooking. Hey! Behind the sneeze guard, Buster. All right, all right. Keep your hair on. If there was less of it on the cakes, you might sell a few more. Surprise, surprise. The one with a gun is the most popular booth at the fair. What would it take to get one of those cakes with a cutting tool in it? Simples, isn't it? Cash. Does it have to be my cash? Look, see that booth over there? Proper popular, yeah? Yeah, seems he's making a killing. Ha! <laughs> Sorry, go on. I want cash flow like that. Get me sales and I'll hand over a finder's fee. And just think, you'll be helping out little Kiefer. Forward financial planning. Very commendable. University fund? No, rainy day. Forecast is stormy tomorrow, so I'm going to the pictures. Need to budget for a 12-pack of gob chews to leave in Kiefer's bowl for the afternoon. Otherwise, the poor blighter don't eat. You know what would make your cake sell? What? Product placement in a successful media franchise? Listen, I'm sick of people hating my bacon. Sure, there's a functional side to this, and the prisoners are happy enough with the prize inside. But it wouldn't hurt to have someone enjoy my baking for what it is, you know? And not just enjoying, I want people gagging for them. I want them to get their shakes when they can't have them. I want people to rob their nan's purse and hold up people in back alleys to afford my cakes. I don't care how it happens, but I want people drooling over my cakes. That's a tall order. I'll see what I can do. Ted, half an hour. You'll be back. Yeah, probably. I don't need to go, and even if I did, I wouldn't go in there. Things. Here's your sign. <laughs> now remember our deal. I get some. Then come. <laughs> you. He won't come if I'm here. <laughs> ah, it's been years since I spoke smackhead. Funny how fast it all comes rushing back. Lot I'm gonna take the word of Captain White Stash here. I'd better stick around. <laughs> Jokes. Usual. Hey! Fix, 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 fix. Oh man, you've gone too long. Mr. Fix will take care. Salutations, Camp Padres. Hi. Oh, uh, who's the stiff? Hickle, hickle. Oh, yeah, you heard him. I'm cool. Just a regular giant chicken, much like yourselves, looking to score. Oh, I don't know, mate. My friends call me Mr. Dope Fiend. Yeah, hoping to get smegged out on some nose candy real soon. Gimme, 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 gimme. <laughs> Yeah, give him, give him, give him. And, uh, if I may... Um, uh, well, he sounds legit. All right, man. Hey, man, what gives? Sorry, my friends don't call me Mr. Dope Fiend. That was a bit of sneaky undercover jargon. I'm usually more commonly known as Detective Inspector Hector. Oh, bum. I should have guessed before the question earlier. I'm on a very tight schedule. It's not normally like me, but if you give me the drugs, I'll let you off with a warning. Well, works for me. Pretty much standard procedure in this town, yeah. Right, oh. Ciao, boys. Well, 
most things together, not bloody lightly. Here you go, darling. Put this on your buns. And that is not an invitation for an act of gross public indecency, which would make me feel even more nauseous than your cooking. Oh, what is it? Uh, powdered sugar? But most of my cakes are 99% sugar anyway. Oh, but is it powdered? Well, hell, why not? Everybody likes sugar, right? Young Kiefer can't get enough of it. Why, when he gets his hands on a bowl, he just keeps eating it and eating it till it's gone. Go on, a light dusting over the top of everything. Hey, you guys smell that? Wow, that baking reminds me of dear old Pums. Give me a slice of whatever you're selling. Wow, this cake is stupefyingly horrible, but I must have more. Gordon Ramsay's wig, this is damagingly addictive. Sweet lord, it's like having my tongue run over a cheese grater by Nigella before she got fat. Hey, this one had a file in it. I lost three teeth, which means there's now more room in my mouth for more cake! Ha <laughs> ha! File saved. Wait, mister, I owe you a cake! Keep it, darling. I got what I came for. Go ahead and sell mine onto one of these mugs, but do key for a favour and start up an ISA. For I have a sneaking suspicion that he and I will be meeting in a professional capacity in the not-too-distant future.